Point guard handles it well, and they're going to call in for the offensive. Really hampering Carlson. Nice pass to the cutting Anthony across the middle. Inside out. Beautiful passing from Marco Anthony. And Carlson Jr. on the outside. Miller. Now there's no easy baskets inside. You're big and you're tall. That's a good look. Good matchup. Euro step. Wow. They're out on the wing. Madsen. Wow. That is off for 28 points last time these teams met last year. That one really. Driving the lane. That's yeah, that's what you do. You get it to really get some great things. Former Ute players, Kyle Kuzma, DeLong, which college teams don't. But, you know, Utah's no slouch. They're holding teams since 30. Stefanovic, great outside shooter as well, but he can drive off the line. He's got his pocket picked that time. And it's quick up and easy for Micah Peavy. Junior goes out for TCU. Deep range shot, Coach. Well, Utah's got to go now. back to the rim. Uh, they had some success going, not depending on outside shots, but if they can do that, operate in a short... TCU go down the middle. They had success before. A beautiful layup. As you list, not only the Big 12, but around the country as a player, as he's recognized for the talent that he is. Marco Anthony bodies up, gets it to fall, and they're going to wave that off. So he stay knotted up at 13. PD drives the lane, lays it up, leaves it short. Pulls on the outside, drives him the big man, and he gets blocked. It's number four, Arizona. Madsen from deep range. Oh, from five miles from University of Utah campus. Beautiful shot. 12 is tough. This yeah. is probably arguably as good a year as they've had. Oof. And... You, you know, when you get skill and toughness, that's a tall order. <laughs> One frog out to a nine and one record to start, and Carl's imagine excuse. You'd have to say almost every team in there would be in the tournament. That's how good that they're playing. But it'll even out as the year goes on. And a couple of those teams maybe had and teams playing very well in the conference as well. I'll tell you, a team I really like watching. I think they're going to do well this year is UCLA. Wow! Have them put the ball on the deck. Oh, beautiful pass. Mike Miles Jr. That's that's seven feet against six two and six two wins on that one. Raleigh Wooster back in the game trying to find some room to move and gets it done. A quarterback no, from Montana. Got a, they've got a couple guys in this team that played some football. Yeah. And Greg Smith loves the football guys. Yeah. And JP Dixon loves Utah. Working around the mass and goes inside and he was picked. Fort Worth is a nice place. He got a nice campus there as well. Wow. Pass up high, drop down low, put in, make it a 9-0. But the defense has got to get in there somehow, some way, and just make it tougher. Xavier Court, credit for that last basket. Madsen, Utah, nice spin move, looks away, gives up to Marco Anthony. The lost guard of the DU, finding success, streaking into the hole. That time not, but it's put... Marco Anthony kicks it deep. Stefanovic drives the lane, knocked away, and the foul's going to be called. Frogs. Stefanovic dumps it in him. Madsen looked like he had. So there are veteran crew here, by the way. Todd. These are yeah. guys that I've, I've had a ton of games with as a coach and I'll always had a lot of respect for these. You, know, you want them on your game. They they get it right. Madsen, the junior to Rochester, Minnesota. Transfer from Cincinnati. Makes the first miss of the bar. Obana Jr. Hard off the glass. Foul called. That you you know, you've got to do whatever it takes to slow down a team when they're on a run. Chuck O'Bannon Jr. goes to the line, and he gets the shooter's roll. That one you need to talk with your team. Always use next diva. Well, I used to get guys from Southern California to come up to Northern California, and people... Step back. Keba Kata on the rebound. And Mike Miles Jr. left wide open. Can't connect. Hands on the ball. Wooster forces that one up. He'll get bailed out with a call. Aggressive teams sometimes don't like when you're aggressive back. Go take them to the basket. Uh, you know, you can isolate and get fouls. So I like that full digits. I mean, to double uh, to double possession game. Yep. Possession game. Inside of the big seven-footer. Oh, and he can't get it to fall. Seven in the loss. <laughs> and can't get the second to fall. Kicks out to Madsen. Wide open. Gets it. Great pace in the zone. Nice yep. call out of the timeout or out of halftime, but it looks like you use defense. They've got hands everywhere, and that's Jamie Dixon kind of important. No, and he's, he's a veteran, and so veterans know that there's more ways that they can. Madsen looking for some space, and maybe Marco Anthony's the guy as Raleigh Wooster launches a three, comes up short. Being right next to Craig Smith, we got the call. It was Minnesota. You're a Big Ten guy. Yep, beautiful job staying active and staying with the play. I'll tell you what, it is no easy passing for Utah. Every
Hangs in the air, and that was going to be off, and Marco Anthony skies to get it. So this is one of those possessions they need to make. Need to come away with something. Booster drives the lane, takes the contact, no foul call, ball tipped up and in. The rim and just couldn't knock it down. Miles Jr. Oh. And he wisely kicks it back out. Now Ben Carlson looking for Madsen coming off that screen, and he buries a three. Utah getting in their stance defensively. TCU in a two-minute scoring drought, and that's answered quickly by Mus now. Can they sustain it? Wooster, nice fake, hangs in the air. High up the glass, tipped up. Ben Carl. Good job uh, for the Cougars. Yeah, you know, again, I, I, I think the drive mismatched on Lampkin. And he's going to get bailed out. He would hold teams and contest shots. Teams shoot on the average 38. You don't contest a shot. A college team shoots 62, so teams work very hard. Mm -hmm. Big man there. He has such a great story. He's dropped over 40 pounds. They've slimmed him down, and he is. CU has been able to get to where they want to get to. You've got to pose your will. Mike Miles Jr. on a beautiful drive high off the glass. 42 now, coming up on 14 to play. Kata. Madsen drives, pulls up to 15, buries it. Just launches a long three as the shot clock is down. And they're going to get by here, the holiday classic. We've got a good one. Brandon Carlson drives his shot. And he really had to shoulder a lot of the offensive output for Craig Smith last year. It's always if they hit this one. Nope. Casual with it, and TCU comes away. Miller now, scoring drought over. A back, TCU comes away with it. Here comes Baugh. Chuck O'Bannon Jr. takes the harm, but no fetch. Carlson, quick. Longest, longest player in the seams and knocking down a shot. Almost identical what TCU did to Utah when they went to the zone, and wow, just like that. Madsen. Wow, that's deadly. That is deadly. Go Anthony. He's fouled as he goes up. And that's just the free throw line. And these are huge. We talked about a halftime coach. In a foot race. That's a smart play. Marco Anthony back to the line. Can't break any as 10. Miller, quick first step. Drives. Carlson can't get there. I'm telling you, coach, anytime he wants to get to the whole bounds, a game for the Horn Frogs, and he seemed to find found a nice. Utah looking for a stop here. Miller on the drive, takes the contact, and he's just hard to defend. If you're Madsen, that's a clever way. A lot of points on the table. The friend, the friendly confines of Vivid, not far from the hunt. Carlson for a three. Off the glass. Off the glass, just play defense and go get, forget about that shot, go play some defense. And a, what an answer. Right. Got to convert here. Oh, and a turnover at the worst possible time as Baugh drives on Wooster, and they're going to get the harm in the foul. Well, Madsen. That didn't look good from the middle. Hard off the rim, swatted out. And I used to thank Tim. I said, we wouldn't have done this without you. You gave us a chance. He remembered that game, too, by the way. Missed opportunity. You're going to be in trouble. Go with a long ball. Miles Jr. step back. Kicks it over to Miller. Seven. Miles Jr. Shot clock at three. Oh, that's brutal. Three. Jr. one on one. He'll pull the trigger. Rims out. Pulls. Foul, but doesn't get the hoop. Stefanovic. Hard off the backside, but Carlson's. Uh, Miles is so adept yeah. at getting the ball to his teammates. He just makes every right play. But I, I think the big key defensively for TCU has been they've really had it from deep. Off the rim, can't get it. Petey pulls it away. Stefanovic. Wow. Madsen, step back. Gets it. Well, no time at night. <laughs> Madsen with 23 points. Utah swarming. Taking chances. Oh, wow. Raleigh Woos. Rims out. Well, that's. But sometimes they get you an opportunity to get a quick two. We'll see what they do coming back. Miller. Madsen. Madsen coming off. Rises. Shoots. And hits. Well, how about that for what we call a two possessions now? Two, two possession game. Now they got to 
Get in and get, take any time. Marco Anthony now with a double dime off. Play with one foot behind. And they've already shown they can throw the long ball. They do it again, and this time it's broken up. On Madsen. Deep. Misses every national level basketball. Yeah. And I mean 11 and 1. Say no more. Ball knocked away, but not enough time as Boston. Brian Anderson, along with Grant Hill and Brent Berry, our distinguished analysts. Allie LaForce on the sidelines. It's the Miami Heat facing the home team. All right, now let's check out the starters for the Miami Heat. Struess and Butler out on the perimeter. Damn Adebayo is out there with Caleb Martin.